We're all watching you, Chris. <laughs> so we've learned a little bit about grips, a little bit about uh, hair grabs. What if somebody puts, twists your arm and forces you to do something? Now that's normally taken as a figurative statement, but it's actually a literal statement as well. Sir, would you mind going over that? Let's see. We've all seen this one. You can call it a chicken wing or a shoulder lock. So if you would, sir, it's like you're shaking hands with somebody and all of a sudden it gets a little rowdy. And here you are. Did you really use the word rowdy? Okay. <laughs> I just said chicken wing. Now, I could try to run away, but that's going to hurt because the shoulders, I could try to go this way. I could try to. Why not use the side that's already open? So let's rotate this way a little bit so we can see. All I'm going to do is turn around. I'm going to take this hand as kind of a guide and say, hmm, no more. I'm going to step here, break down, and push out. It's a spin. If you like ballet, this is not ballet, but it is a shoulder lock. <laughs> I'm here. Ah, mm, I can't go. I want you long. You push off. If you can turn the hand in and push up as you step in with it, you're going to create a great amount of distance. One more time. What do you mean by distance? Distance? <laughs> so I'm here, a step. Uh -huh. Really not too much effort on your part. And then at that point, as Sir said earlier, go, go. Let's take a few moments and pair up, partner up again, and, and work on that little spin.